The simplest type of network involves only two devices, your computer and your receptor. To create this network, simply connect a crossover Ethernet cable between receptor's Ethernet port and the Ethernet port on your computer. Now notice that I emphasize the word crossover. That's because Ethernet cables come in two varieties, standard and crossover. Most any computer shop will carry both types of cables. So when buying a cable to create this simple connection, make sure you buy one that's labeled as a crossover Ethernet cable. Now if, like a lot of people, you have a box full of cables and aren't sure which, if any of them are crossover cables, here's a simple way to tell. Hold the two connectors side by side and orient them so that they face exactly the same way. Make sure to hold them so you can see the little colored wires inside the connector and tell which pins those wires go to. On a standard Ethernet cable, these colored wires will all connect to the same pins in both cables. That's why a standard Ethernet cable is also known as a straight through Ethernet cable. On a crossover Ethernet cable, some of these colored wires will connect to different pins in the two cables. In other words, some of the wires inside will cross over. So, step by step, here's how to set up a crossover connection. Connect one end of your crossover Ethernet cable to receptor and one end to your computer. It's essential that you have both ends of this cable connected before proceeding. If you don't, your networking won't work properly. Next, press the Setup button on Receptor's front panel and then rotate the top display knob until the TCP IP setup parameter is visible on the top line. Rotate the bottom display knob until the word Crossover is displayed. Push the bottom display knob to apply your selection. Receptor will ask if you are sure, so rotate the bottom display knob to select Yes, then press it to apply your answer. Receptor will now put itself into Crossover mode. Double press your receptor's power button to shut it down and shut down your computer as well. Then, turn on your computer and wait for it to finish booting before you turn on receptor. Now it's mandatory with laptops that you turn on your computer first and then allow it to boot completely before turning on receptor. Once both your computer and receptor have rebooted, receptor will have provided an IP address to your computer and they will now talk to each other. So, to recap, it's important that you remember three things. One, always use a crossover Ethernet cable for crossover connections. Two, always connect the cable between receptor and your computer before making network settings on receptor. And three, if using a laptop, always turn on the computer first, wait for it to boot completely, and then turn on receptor.